love is patient, caring love is kind. Love is felt most when it's genuine. But I, I've had my share of love abuse. Money. This is how God will favor us in spite of our enemies. And if God did it for me, he'll do the same thing for you. So don't worry about your haters. Your haters can't do nothing to you. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. I'm still here. I'm still alive I still blessed on my way to my destiny because the favor of God is on my life let me tell you about God's love love is patient, caring, love is kind. Love is felt most when it's genuine. I, I've had my share of love abuse. Money. God favors me, 
He favors me. He favors me. God favors you, my brothers and sisters. Glory be to God. Jesus favors you. Hallelujah. God favors us. God favors us. Glory, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He favors us. Hallelujah, Jesus. I could speak with the tongue of man and angel. Love is more excellent. Why? But if I don't have love, I'm just a clanging cable. Love is more excellent way I could have the faith to remove the mountains. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And saints, this is a poem. But if I don't have love, then I have nothing. Love conquers hate. Hallelujah. Love is the more excellent way. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is humble. Love is not boasting. Love is not pride. Love is caring. Love is sharing all of the time. Not easily angered. Enduring the test. So never forget love is the more excellent ways. I could have the gift of prophecy. Love is the more excellent way. But if I don't have love, does it profit me? No. Love is the more excellent way. Love is the way. I could understand all my mysteries talk about love, but if I don't love, it's not enough. You see, love is the more excellent way. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is humble. Love is not boasting. Love is caring, nurturing, and sharing all of the time. It's not easily angered endure the test so never forget love is the more excellent way love is the way saints glory to god love could throw my body into the flame love is the more excellent way but if I don't have love, I don't have nothing at all. Love is the more excellent way. You gotta have love. Glory be to God. You got to have love. I could give the poor everything I own. Love is the more excellent way. But the heart within, with, but the heart without love, without love and God's desire and will is just a heart of stone or flesh. Love is the more excellent way. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is humble. Meekness, endurance, peace, joy. All of the time, it's not easily hangered. And during the test, so never forget, love is the more excellent way. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Saints, we gotta love for God is love. God is the agape love. And it is the more excellent way. Hallelujah.
for tonight is hallelujah and our topic for tonight is a relationship between God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit glory be to God types of models and ideas for this is in the Christian theology or history. Will be to that? So how do we have a relationship? The relationship with the Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. We know God is the Father. Hallelujah. We know that God is the Father. It is worthwhile first for examining the false interpretation and identify their errors so that we narrow down the possibilities until only the genuinely biblical understandings remain. Can we tell that? So God who will become the Son who will become the Spirit. Hallelujah. Many people do not understand, so I'll break it down. The the problem three equals one, meaning three in one. Because you know that God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God will not leave his throne and come on the hurt to man. So God created Jesus, the Son of God and man, in the flesh to enter this world. Glory be to God. And after Jesus leave, he promised to send the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit that dwelleth in us. So God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I will explain by saying that all the time there was only one person and it was God who was the original, not the carbon copy, can never be. God is the Father. Then went on to incarnate himself and become God, the Son. And after death and resurrection, goes back into spoily spiritual ex existence, there was only one person. Glory be to God. But Jesus in, in his preaching was constantly talking about the Father and the communicating with the Father in prayer. He talked not about the Father who was, but the Father who is in heaven. He even thought his followers this very prayer, or Father who art in heaven, we all know it, Hallowed be thy name, your name. And today, since this explanation of our God, who transforms seems to be really dead and not defended anymore. I am not aware of any sect which teaches it. So let me teach on saints. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So saints, follow on and please open your brain to understanding, knowledge, and wisdom. Hallelujah. Please understand. Glory be to God. 
many people might question how is God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit? God's glory is so bright. We cannot look in that brightness. Hallelujah. So he had to make us his son, which is him. So now, hallelujah, glory be to God. There are three independent God. Hallelujah. And the first one is a Trithemis. There is only one God in one person who appear operates in three ways. Hallelujah. The Sabellion is in. Glory be to God. There is only one person who is God and Christ was his first creation. Hallelujah. The Arias, the Arianism. There is one Godhead existing in three persons. The Trinitarianism, biblical Christianity, may conviction and that of nearly all Christians. A Trinitarianism, whether Catholics or Orthodox, Pentecost, Presbyterian, Seventh-day Adventist believers. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So now, the Father is God. The Son is God. The Holy Ghost is God. The Trinity the father is not the son the father is not the holy spirit holy ghost the son is not the holy spirit but there is precisely one perfect and indiv indivisible god not three gods glory be to god three in one all knowing all seeing Hallelujah. Omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent. He knows all things. Glory be to God. On the other side, there are several different views explaining in a few more words than we have listed on here above. The Sabellion. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are all one and the same, just different names or different aspects or different ways of seeing God. But really the Father is the Son and the Father is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost is the Son and all these three names are of one God. I hope that you're understanding things. Glory to God. I hope that you're understanding. Jehovah's Witness, etc. The Father is God. The Son and the Holy Ghost are not God. But create creatures. Hallelujah. Very good and holy creatures made by the Father in very privileged position, agreeing in all things with the Father in the sense this is the nearest view of to Islam of all of them. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. So the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. There are at least three different God positive. There is no Father, no Son, and no Holy Ghost, and no God. Those are the atheists. Glory be to God. 
agree to that. Muslims are like, I am not going to bother with that one. Hallelujah, Jesus. We have seen in the early part of that Jesus and the Holy Spirit have the divine attributes, attributes, character, qualities, which are not possible for even the highest cre created beings. Hallelujah. And therefore, they can only be God. Therefore, the position is defeated by all that I have quoted before. We have established that the Bible teaches that Jesus is God and the Spirit is God. The position of Herius is not attainable. Glory be to God. So we all know three in one, the Godhead. They are all God. They are all God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So we know that they are all God. Hallelujah. Work in different ways. Hallelujah. They work in different ways ways and categories. Jesus, hallelujah. talk about his love of the father about his obedience toward the father about the father's love of the son he says in john 16 25 verse 28 read on your own time saints i will tell you plainly about my father i am not saying that i will ask the father on your behalf no, the Father himself loved you because you have loved me, God Jesus, and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and entered the world. No, I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Jesus made the clear distinction between the Father and Himself, the Father and I am our one. The Father Himself love you. This kind of language would be nonsense if Jesus is the Father. Jesus is always with Himself. He cannot leave Himself. Glory be to God. To come into this world and go back to himself by leaving the world. No, the Son is not the Father, and the Father is not the Son. And shorter or shortly before this, Jesus said about the Spirit, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, the Holy Spirit of truth. John 14 verse 16 hallelujah hallelujah so the distinctness of father son and holy spirit is very clear in Jesus words let me give you a more categorized of scripture passage which confirm that God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are equal, but not equal. And that should finally establish that the real Trinitarian doctrine, Trinity, the only one that brings together the deity of all person, the distinctiveness of the person, but still maintaining that God is the only God. Hallelujah. Would a Muslim be shocked about Allah? Hallelujah. Pure, P 
peace be upon you or Mohammed sweat glory be to him would they say hallelujah the former would seem odd since Halaswet is the source of peace and the latter would be blasphemous and the Jewish and Christian understand exactly the same no mere prophet not even the greatest prophet before Jesus Moses even got glory ascribed to him or it is unheard of people blessing other by invoking the peace of Moses on them Moses had the most as much need from God's peace as ever as every other human being glory be to God he has no peace of his own to dispend no other glory be to God in the light of this look at this saints and try to understand what I am saying by Jesus and Jesus alone John 14 verse 27 peace I leave with you this is Jesus words peace I leave with you peace I give you hallelujah my peace I give you I do not have to you as the world gives do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid John 16 verse 33 I have told you these things these things so that in me you may have peace longevity in this world you will have trouble but take heart I have overcome the world and as quote already earlier saints in John 1 verse 17 for the law was given through Moses grace and truth come through Jesus Christ Jesus himself saying say it in John 14 verse 6 I am the way the truth and the life I am glory be to God saints Jesus is the way the truth and the life be alone no other God hallelujah so he is the way the truth and the life hallelujah hallelujah so saints if you want Jesus life rest upon you you need to take up the cross and follow him you need to take up thy bed and follow him. Let the dead bury their dead. You take up the cross and follow him. You are me to God. He is not just pointing to the way or the truth that is to be found in God only. No, Jesus is the personification of truth. Glory be to God. Grace, peace, life. The personification of attributes. Ultimately, only God possesses. He is the personification of God in the flesh. Ephesians 2 states. Verse 12. Remember that at that time you were separated from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel and foreigners of the covenant of the promise without hope and without God in the world. 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away, have been brought near.
through the blood of Christ. Glory be to God 14. For he himself is our peace who has made the two one and destroy the barriers and dividing walls of hostility. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. And since I have some scriptures that you should read on your own time. Hallelujah. And these greetings are in the Romans. Romans 1 verse 7. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 3. 2 Corinthians 1 2. Galatians 1 3. Ephesians 1 2. Philippians 1 2. 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 2. Meaning this was not a one-time accident, but a normal, formal greeting. No, may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ clear the way for us to come to you. Glory be to God. 1 Thessalonians 3 verse 11. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, our Father who loves us, and by his grace, give us eternal encouragement, eternal encouragement, glory to God, and good hope. Encourage your heart, saints. Comfort yourself and strengthen you in every good deeds and words second thessalonians 2 16 to 17 compared to first line we read to that the quote saints i've already read hallelujah and read these things for yourself these scriptures on your own time in the presence of god and christ jesus who will judge the living and the dead I will give you this charge, 2 Timothy 2, 2 Timothy 4, verse 1. Hallelujah. Both together equally call upon in giving this solemn admonitions. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Also in Jesus' command, to make in the nation follow of him. Disciple he used the strange combination. Then Jesus came to them and said, All the authorities in heaven and on earth has been given to me, Jesus. Therefore, go and make disciples all of all nations baptizing them into the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit in Jesus name and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you and surely I am with you always so since you see that Jesus will never leave nor forsake so he will be with us until the very end of age Matthew 28 18 to 20 hallelujah glory be to God since I am extremely tired extremely glory be to God I had a long day today and I am extremely tired but you know when Jehovah's will you have to do glory be to God you have to be obedient. Someone out there needs to hear a word. Someone out there needs to hear a word. So I might not be very long, but I have to do the Lord's will. Glory to God. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all all of us 
2 Corinthians 13, 14. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Where God the Father and Jesus the Lord and the Holy Spirit are mentioned in parallel. Hallelujah. And what does it really mean? Hallelujah. So it means thought do not explicitly teach the Trinity they would be totally inappropriate language to utterly blasphemous if the Trinity were not assumed but they are regular greeting or blessing or welcome and departure and anything like it is never used for any of the other prophets in scriptures glory be to god only jesus get this honor but many preachers rise above jesus think they can go higher no have a seat over there Glory be to God and repent. Hallelujah. Because God is Jesus and the Holy Spirit all by Himself. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, he said, John 1. 1 John 1. 3 2nd John 3 2nd Peter 1 verse 2 2nd Peter 3 18 Philippians 1 verse 2 Philemonian Philemonian 3 Jude 2 21 First Timothy 1 1 and 2 2 Timothy 1 verse 2 Titus 1 14 says read them on your own time hallelujah you have to have a connection with God the father Jesus said I and my father are one glory be to God and he prayed to God you need to read the word on your own time to have a connection a fellowship with God Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think it is clear that the Bible teaches that there is one and only one God. But the same is one Godhead reveals himself to exist as a loving community of three persons. The Bible does not even make an attempt to give us hallelujah exposition of the trinity glory be to god it gives us a data and the community of believers meditate and study and revelation the revelation of the form of the concept or doctrine of the trinity in order to clear express what the biblical revelation is saying the bible teaches the church only have reflected on it to find clearer and clearer ways to expressing hallelujah the process of reflection of god revelation the term trinity and the most appropriative way was born from the study of the scripture the bible itself is not given the theory it's just present this god who is our creator and who is very much involved in our life and it, it it's interested that we respond in loving him hallelujah Glory be to God. The Trinity is a mystery that we do better. Hallelujah. Not even trying to understand it is not a biblical approach. 
the words of God is exhorted. It exhorted us to use our God-given ability to reason. Hallelujah. And we are seeking understanding. But the fact that God does not give us the work theology of the Trinity might be an indication that in the end, the Trinity is too big for or limit brain power and thought. We can understand all this revelation in its different parts and totally concept is too big to be completely understood. Glory be to God and in this sense, is will remains a mystery to us great things. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. So God says, let us make man in our image. Who could he be talking about? He was talking about us for sure. And he was talking to the angels. Let us make man. Hallelujah. In his image and likeness, he was talking to him. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He was talking to them. Also the host of angels. Glory be to God. So he said, let us make man in our image. Who could he be talking about? God alone is the creator. Who else is creating there? Angels or any other beings are created, not creating one. And this day has no creating power or image. Glory be to God. His own image. Glory be to God. Not the image of angels, the image of God. One God, hallelujah, but somehow plural. And if that alone does convince you, have you ever thought about the next part, the part where this being created in his image is described however one person was in not enough to represent god's image god's image were created as a loving community Hallelujah. in two person and two complementary person at that male and female created he them which this strange herd to love and serve each other and be a harmonious in harmonious unity hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah each human beings because you know that we're spirit beings so each human beings in the image of god is a trinity a multiple unity of body soul and spirit trichotomy body soul and spirit while still remaining one person one being one entity glory be to god hallelujah hallelujah jesus so we are human beings who is only his image. Read Genesis 1 on your own time, saints. We all know in the beginning he created the world. God made the wild animal according to their kind. The living and the livestock according to their kind. And all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our own image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air 
and the livestock over all the earth and all the creatures that moves along the ground Hallelujah. so God created man in his own image in the image of God he created him male and female he created them God blessed them and said to them be fruitful and increase in numbers fill the earth and subdue it rule over the fishes of the sea and the birds of the here and over every living creature that moves on the ground glory be to god hallelujah jesus and do you see the hebrews poetic structures hallelujah of emphasis and the parallelism in verse 27 says there in the image of god corresponded to males and female mankind is one but god sees the need to make two different and complementary being in order to adequately represent his image even take in isolation this verse is a strong pointer towards the plurality of the nature of the one god which which rest of scripture can then be seen to support glory to god even if some christian scholars disagree why do i still think that this really is a valuable additional reference even though the trinity is applying demonstrated in other scripture because even in the jewish rabbis i have a very hard time to come to term with this passage several rabbis tries to advance various explanation as to explain ways this plural but they only have managed to show that it won't go away each subsequent rabbi refuted the former ones and show why their reasoning do not survive <laughs> maybe as with so much the concept of the trinity might just be solution to this problem you read to that isaiah 40 verse 14 and i'm closing things isaiah 40 verse 14 who has understood the mind of god or instructed him as his counselor that's a question whom will the lord counsel to enlighten whom to enlighten him glory be to god and whose thought him the right way question who was it that taught him knowledge or showed him the path of understanding and the answer that is clearer is implied nobody so the us can be referred to as any other than god and the, the even the Heron disagree with the idea that the Lord took advice from the angels. The Lord do not take advices from the angels. He give the angels advice and send them out on works. But though he said, let us created men in his in our image 
that is the reason the angels were created before us. Glory be to God. And he saw that they were good. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So saints, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit are all one beings with different characters. God will not leave his throne to come here, so he made Jesus to come. Hallelujah. With his strength, his power, his obedience, his will, a sinless man. We read a lot. So after Jesus was resurrected, he created the Holy Spirit to dwell within us, among us, to lead, to guide, to protect. So get it straight, saints. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. They are all one. I and my Father, they are one. It is mysterious. Huh. Triune God, he is a mysteri mis mysterious triune God who loves you so much that he gave his one and only son, a sinless man. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So he, he need us to have a relationship with him. He need us to be a joint ear with him. Glory be to God. We should have this relationship, this bond with him. Hallelujah. But hopefully the beginning for some of us in exploring more is we need to read. Hallelujah. About the mysterious triumph of God who loves us. Hallelujah. And erase negative and sinful thoughts. Ask the Holy Spirit to wash us clean, renew our minds. Christian, it's time to wake up, stop playing church. Glory be to God. Stop playing church. Glory be to God. Because when the role is called up yonder, I want to see us there. Glory be to God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And you will be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of a night. From more tall bodies to immortality. To spirit. We will be changed from flesh, mortal, to immortality, spirit. They that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. So saints, Jesus love you. He cares for you with his everlasting love. He said to come right now. Come as you are. Come just as you are. Glory be to God. Come right now. Don't wait another minute, a second, a hour. Come just as you are. Hallelujah. He is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. He is God, the Godhead, the Trinity, the all-seeing God. Hallelujah. He knows all your faults, all your failures. He knows every time you fall. He knows every time you have doubts. Hallelujah. He knows every time you sin. He's giving you time. He said, come. I will fix you. I will renew you. I will strengthen you. I love you with an everlasting love. I am God the Father, the only God. Hallelujah. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, which is all one. Glory be to God. Since Jesus loves you with an everlasting love, seek him for yourself. Seek him early while he may be found. Seek the Lord, saints. Know God for yourself. Know your worth. 
know that on the Lord's side you are safe. Hallelujah. Have a child help them with schoolwork. Bless someone. Counsel someone. Talk with someone. Glory be to God. Hug a friend. Hug someone. Glory be to God. Hug someone. I love you so much with the love of Christ. And Jesus loves you first. And I pray for healing. For also have a sick. I pray for healing in Jesus' name. I pray for protection. Hallelujah. I pray for jobs. I pray for open doors of opportunity, good ones. I pray for a long life for you. I pray against negativity, negative energy. I bind it up, I assassinate it, I root it up in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I strengthen you with Jesus' blood in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I pray that you will have a sound mind. I pray that you will find Christ. Seek He first the kingdom. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I love you, saints. Would Jesus love you? Today I was in a, a transport and I saw this man just come and sit beside me. And he was shaking his foot like this. So I said to him, Sir, why are you shaking? Are you nervous? He said, No, I'm not nervous. But um, it's just an old habit I have. He was really shaking. So I said, It's okay. But when you catch it, when you catch up yourself doing it, stop doing it. Because you don't want when you're older that nervousness cause you to um, can't hold a, a mug in your hand. Everything will be spilling from that mug, right? So he was shaking his foot like this. So I turned to him again and I said, before I turned to him, I turned away my head and I started to talk to God and I said, Lord, I want to say this to the guy, but please do not let him shun me. And I don't know, God didn't answer, so I guess I should have tell, say it to him. So I turned to him and I said, sir, it doesn't matter what you are going through. Jesus said to tell you that he loves you and don't let anyone draw you out into something that you are not comfortable with. And he said to me, you know, maybe I sit beside you for a reason because there are some people that is rising up against me who, um, who are trying to get me to do something I don't want to do. So God is truly talking through you. And I said, sir, remember what I said. The Lord said to tell you, let no one draw you out to out of your character to do something that you might regret. And he said, yes, ma'am. And I said, sir, the Lord said to tell you let no one draw you out of your character so you would do something that you will regret. And he said, thank you. And I leave that transport, transportation and went about my business. I don't know him. I will never see him again. And, or even if I see him, I might not remember his face. No to God. But saints, listen. If you can just tell one person about God, the angels in heaven will glorify the Lord. Glory be to God. 
since you can imagine the man was like this his foot was like this up and down he wasn't swaying his foot like this he was like this so i had to say sir are you nervous and he said it's a bad habit but however since sometimes you might just save someone life by just reaching out to them reach out to them i told him to read the word of god and to get to know god and have a relationship he said yes i believe in god yes but these people and i said sir the lord says and he said young lady god is surely speaking through you because some people trying the devil used people to come upon you when you strongly believe in God. So saints, tell someone about Christ. Tell someone about Almighty God. You read to that? Tell someone about God. You might save a life. Bless someone. Hallelujah. Bless someone. Inspire someone. Give them a ray of hope. Glory be to God. When you tell them about Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. When you tell someone about Christ. Glory be to God. Saints, I will catch you on another life. I love you so much for the love of God. And Jesus loves you. He died for you. He's risen. He's taken away your senior transgression. Was upon him. So saints, have a fellowship with him. Shalom, my people.